Hey everyone, today is iApple Apps Reviewer, and today we're going to be reviewing the app iTeleport for the iPad. What that is, is it's right there, and that app is a uh, VNC client, and it connects your computer's desktop to your iPad. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm just going to go to my computer real quick and uh, tell you guys what you need to get for this. It's on their website. Put the website link in the description. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get download Ultra VNC server and you're gonna download VNC viewer. And the website will tell you how to set everything up. No problem, it's all fine. And then you're gonna need to make a Gmail account. Um, I guess the beat server runs through the uh, Gmail server. So uh, and then lastly you're gonna need to download iTeleport Connect. Uh, iTeleport Connect v5 4.05 so let's go up to that and there it is so we'll zoom in and uh, what this is is this is actually what connects your computer to the iPad so uh, let's go ahead and connect that well, I'll show the settings first see it uses your Gmail account there's Gmail right there so uh, you can get that done so uh, now you're gonna need to connect this before you connect on your iPad so let's go ahead and connect Alright, so now it's connected. So let's go to the iPad now. Alright, so here's the iPad. So now we're going to go to iTeleport. So let me zoom out. As I said, Gmail account connects. So let's sign in. And uh, let's go to the settings here on the bottom. What's down here is uh, it goes to Internet, Discovered, and <clears throat> Manual. So if in, in manual, it doesn't really do anything. You can just connect and connect. They're all the same, pretty much. So let's go to the options area. And you pretty much always want to put high-quality display. It doesn't really lag it out. It just makes it nicer. And then auto-discovery, you're going to want on to uh, connect it automatically. So let's go ahead and connect it to the PC. So now, whichever ones are highlighted, to see the highlight, that means that... Uh, it's connected and online, and when it's not highlighted, means that it's not it's offline. So let's go ahead and press that. And as you saw, it's gonna load the screen. Hang on, it's gonna probably gonna mess up again. So let's go ahead and go back, and it should connect pretty fast this time. There we go. So uh, now it takes a second for it to load. See, it's high quality, so it may take a couple seconds. So now I'm actually connected on my iPad. See, it's the iPad. See, guys, iPad on my PC. So let's show you guys the PC now. Oops. So that's the, my, my, that's my computer right there, and there's my iPad. Or they're both connected now. And I am running the VNC client right now. So let's go ahead and go up. And now let's put the iPad right next to it. Go ahead and put that right there. Just so you guys, I'm not even using the mouse. The mouse is right there, and I'm not using it. So now I'm just going to show you guys vice versa on the iPad and on the PC. So let's go to the iPad, and now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and zoom in. You can just pinch to zoom like anything else on the iPad and iPod Touch and iPhones. So now we're going to go to right here and we're gonna put that down you just click on the screen once so let's zoom out now so it zoom is up pretty easily all right there we go so now we're gonna bring this here so now I'm just gonna put that down a little bit so I'm gonna go to Google Chrome now you guys so let's double click on Google Chrome see it's highlighted there so now it's double click and it should open on the PC now there we go. Google Chrome just opened. So uh, there's that. So now this whole thing has a wide variety of controls. So uh, let's go into that. So uh, if you want to type, you just have to click on the uh, search bar or something. Double tip, tap, sorry, tap. So now you're just going to pull up the keyboard and it comes up with your full keyboard. So let's type in uh, YouTube. Whoops, it's a little hard. with two hands like trying to do like this let's go to YouTube so now we're just gonna Google search oops Google search and now it's gonna pop it up on here as well on the computer so now let's get rid of this keyboard you just have to uh, press the keyboard icon and it goes away so now let's go on there 
just double, oops, double tap, and uh, should open, loading, there we go, so now let's expand this real quick, because it's a little short, so now it should expand, expand it on there, expand it on here, so as you can see it runs your computer as well as on your iPad, that's why I really like this application is because you can actually control your computer anywhere in the world wherever you have a wireless connection. So say I have a report on, on my computer I need to uh, send and I don't have access to my computer, just start up iTeleport, go to your, let's, let's go here, so let's open up the side tab bar. So now let's go to, go to, let's go to documents and uh, it'll show you all backups and stuff on my hard drive. Say I need to send a uh, a consent forward dot document from Microsoft Office. We're just gonna click on it, and then you just have to open up your email, put it in your email, and just send it. I mean, it's really easy, and all you have to do is just go on your iPad. I mean, it's an iPad, and you're on your computer. How awesome is that? So let's get a little bit into the settings in here. So we're gonna go to settings. So now it has rotation lock, and then it has Touch screen mode, invert mouse, controls, show screen, cursor momentum, colors, and refresh. <clears throat> so, invert mouse means you go up and it goes down on the computer. Uh, touch screen mode means uh, it's nothing big deal. Uh, rotation lock is when you can go like that and it'll rotate. And I'll show you guys on my computer in a second. So, let me put rotation lock on and then off. It just makes it so you can rotate. I like rotating sometimes. And uh, there's my colors is in the thousands. And then the refresh connection decides. So if you ever get lag, you can just hit refresh. So let's get out of that now. Okay, so now we're back at my iPad. So let's go up here now. And we can go to here. So now this is just like a computer. You can just hit shift. And you can hold shift down. So now if you want to type in caps or you want to do shift alt del control alt delete. And now you can do that. And you can actually put up your uh, task manager or whatever you have on Windows 7, Vista, or XP. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, let's go right here. Let's go to this one. This one just whole, picks up the whole menu. It uh, F1, 2, and all the way to 12. And then it has play, fast forward, volume. Let's turn the volume up a little. That should turn the volume up all the way now. So, uh, and then you can go page down, whatever you guys want. So it automatically went page down. So let's we'll, we'll scroll up a little bit. So let's scroll up. Maybe we don't want to go too high. So, and then you can go home. Let's go home. So that brings back to YouTube because YouTube's my home page. <laughs> so uh, let's put this down now. Click that. So now that's down. So let's do something else. Let's let's click this down. It's not too good on the games. I'm gonna tell you guys that. <laughs> I've tried playing games on here. Whoo, that's not very nice. I tried playing uh, World of Warcraft. I tried playing pinball, whatever you want. And uh, yeah, the bad thing about this is it does not play sounds on the computer. Say you want to watch a video on YouTube, it will not play the sounds on your iPad. So if you want to go to iTunes, it will not play the sounds on your iPad. That sucks. But uh, hopefully they come up with an update like that because I would like to, you know, maybe be in like England or something. If I'm on a trip this summer or I'm going to Jamaica or something, I can be on my iPad and I can listen to all my music if I haven't synced it in a while and I forgot. But uh, all in all, this app is amazing, guys. I love, love, love this app. This app is awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching. This is iApple Apps Reviewer. I give this app a 5 out of 5, one of my highest ratings yet so far. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. iApple Apps Reviewer signing off. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and guys, please subscribe. Like I said in my uh, previous videos, it helps me so much. It's just awesome how much it helps me. So let's get out of that. And uh, just hit that one yellow button. It's very easy and it helps me so much because I can do more reviews for you guys. I can get sponsored by YouTube. I, maybe one day I can become a YouTube partner. I don't know. And uh, thank you guys so much. And I have a giveaway contest out right now. If you guys want to sign up for that, go ahead. Just have to comment on the comment. It ends June 20th and it started June 3rd. 
So again, thank you guys so much, all my subscribers, my supporters. Thank you guys so much. I Apple Observer signing off. Peace.